Assalamualaikum friends. I am uh, Arif Rajiv and welcome to the reality of Jesus and Christianity episode 3. So uh, in this episode, I prove that uh, there is no original Bible. So uh, let's begin. So uh, first of all, the original Bible was revealed to Prophet Isa, which you call Jesus, uh, around 2000 years ago. It was revealed to him by God, by Allah. So uh, then in the Quran, it is clearly mentioned that the, uh, all the Bibles are corrupted. So uh, there is no original Bible. So first of all, the first Bible, uh, like the original Bible, which you, uh, like even the Bible have two testaments. First is the Old Testament, and then second is the New Testament. The Old Testament con uh, consists of Torah, which was revealed to Prophet Musa more than three thousand years ago. It was revealed to him by God, by Allah. So that's the Old Testament. Right. And then the New Testament is the Injil, which was revealed to Prophet Isa, which you call Jesus. Gospel was revealed to Prophet Isa, which is in the New Testament. So if you combine the Torah, the Old Testament and the, the books inside the Injil, right. and then uh, overall it's the Bible. So uh, actually, I don't understand how all Christian and Jews understand these all things. You don't get confused, or maybe you do get confused, because I really get confused about you know like there are there are more than 200 different types of Bibles, like I said in my last episode two. So uh, so the first thing is that in Torah, for uh, which uh, the Jews believe to be the word of God, it was the word of God. But now after after it is corrupted over time, it's no longer the word of God. So uh, it says that even even in the Torah there are five books: Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. These five books are included in the Torah. So of course it is clearly corrupted. Like, and if, it's, and if it is corrupted, then it is no longer the word of God anymore. It was the word of God when it was not corrupted. But now after people add their own words inside the word of God, then it is no longer the word of God. It is the word of people's mouth. So, uh, even the Hebrew Bible, is in, uh, even the Torah, Torah itself is a part of Hebrew Bible now. And the Hebrew Bible, uh, which they call uh, Tanakh and now the Tanakh have three books let me explain the Tanakh have Torah which was revealed to Prophet Musa which Jews believe to be the word of God but now it is no longer the word of God Torah is part of Hebrew Bible and the other book is Nebim and then the third book is uh, Ketuvim Now that these three books are in the Hebrew Bible, or uh, uh, in short, in the Old Testament. Now, like I already said, the Torah itself is part of Hebrew Bible, Tanakh, and then it has five books ready, like I mentioned. Now the second book is Nevim, which itself has so many books. Let me explain which books. The Nevim, the Nevim includes the books of Isia, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. So the following list present the books of Ketuvim. So in Ketuvim there are like uh, so many different books. Let me explain. The the seafaring Imam, the Psalms which was revealed to Prophet Daud, which you call David. The Psalms were, uh, were uh, was revealed to him. It is included the Tehillim. Is Psalms, Miss uh, the book of Proverb, uh, book of 
Proverbs, Book of Job, Song of Songs, Book of Ruth, Lament, Lamentations, Day of no, uh, Ecclesiastes, Book of Esther, Book of Daniel, Book of Ezra, Book of Nehemiah, Chron and the Chronicles. Like overall, there are like 12 books in the Ketuvim, the single book. And then there are 3 books in Nebi. And then there are 5 books in Torah. So overall, in the Hebrew Bible, in the Old Testament, there are 20 books. 5 books in the Torah, 3 books in the Nebi, and 12 books in the Ketuvim. Overall, there are 24 books in the Old Testament. And then comes the New Testament. In the New Testament, there are like 27 different books. Four books in the Gospel. In Injil, there are four books. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. These four books are in the Gospel, in the Injil. And then there are like, and then the one book is the Acts of Apostles in the, the New Testament Bible. And then comes the Pauline Epistles. This is the, uh, in this book there are 14 books, 14 different books. There are 13 to 14 books in the Pauline Epistles. And then comes the Catholic Epistles. There, uh, in this book there are uh, 7 different books. And then the last one is the book of Revelation. So now, like there are now many versions of Bibles, many versions, and even even the the, ver the versions of Bibles are created by different authors too. In the uh, like more than 1,700 years ago, after uh, 300 years after the Christianity became the religion, 300 years after. Uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, was uh, 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 invited by God. Like, and then there are authors of these books. Like I said, like, so how can it be the word of God? Because the author of the book should be the God. It was God, but now there are so many authors of these books. That's why there are so many versions. That's why it's no longer the word of God anymore. So overall, all uh, there is no original Bible. The original Bible, like the even uh, the word Bible is uh, was made by a Christian. Like the nor uh, the original name, uh, the, like the Injil, the Gospel was revealed to Prophet Isa, not the Bible. Bible was uh, because in Bible. Uh, in the Old Testament, there are so many books. Torah is one of the books in the Old Testament of the Bible. Hebrew Bible is uh, the Torah is a part of Hebrew Bible, and the Torah was a different book which was revealed to Prophet Moses. So uh, overall, there's uh, there is uh, like 
there is no original Bible. There are so many versions, more than 200 different versions. Like I said in my last episode, you can watch that episode. So, uh, the original gospel was revealed to Prophet Isa, and then over time, Christians corrupted it by writing, by adding their own words. So it's no longer the word of God. Even in Quran, it is mentioned, and the Quran is the perfect. Quran is perfect. It, it's never been changed. Not even a zebra. You know what is a word? This like the small line on top of the Arabic words. It's not even changed in any Quran. Like every copies of Quran are same. You can find any copies. I'm talking to the uh, Christians and Jews. You can find any copies of Quran around the world. There are billions of copies. Find any copies. There is not even a zebra difference inside the Quran because God says that I will preserve this for example in Quran Surah Hijr chapter 15 verse number 9 which says inna nahnu nazzalna nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun let me translate it absolutely we revere the reminder and absolutely we will preserve it so God is saying that I will preserve the Quran so God is saying 1400 years ago that I will preserve the Quran. Even in another verse of the Quran, Allah confirms that there is no mistake in Quran. For example, in Quran, Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 1, which says, Alif, Lam, Ra, Kitab, 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 Oh, Kimat, Ayatu, Summa, Fusilat, Minal, let me understand it. A and R. This is a scripture whose verses have been perfected, then elucidated. elucidated. It comes from a uh, most wise, most cognizant. Uh, so, Allah is confirming that Quran is not corrupted and it is true. And like I already proved, in all over the world, we read one Quran only. We all recite one Quran. You can find any Hafiz. Hafiz means that any reciter of the Quran. You can find any reciter of the Quran around the world. You ask him any verse. You, you, you can find different, different reciters of the Quran. They will speak the same verse and same things from the Quran. There will be no different verse. It's not like one chapter of the Quran will say different words of the Quran and then the other will say different. Like there's there's no mistake in Quran. So and then so like okay so uh, in Quran the Quran is perfect and it is not corrupted. In all uh, over the world we read only one Quran and there is not a zipper difference in, in the Quran and just imagine this is a miracle too of the Quran this is a miracle how can a human say 1400 years ago that uh, I will guard the Quran how can a human say 1400 years ago like okay let, let, let's just believe that a human has said that okay let's just believe like you Christians and Jews you don't believe that the Quran is the word of God okay let's believe but then how did that human uh, preserve the Quran? How did that human, uh, like what tactics, what methods did he use to preserve the Quran then? If you think that the Quran is not the word of God, then how did the human, which you believe that who wrote the Quran, how did that human preserve the Quran? How, which, uh, what tactics did he use to preserve the Quran? What method did he use to preserve the Quran then? And also, a human barely lives 100 years, barely lives 90 years, a human. But Quran has, uh, uh, Quran have, uh, has been preserved for 1400 years. There's not a single mistake in this 1400 years. And it will never be until the day of resurrection. The Quran will stay like this until the day of resurrection. So this is a miracle too. Uh, like, how can a human say 1400 years ago so confidently? So, uh, so in other, in other, uh, the Quran confirms 
the, the gospel and Injil, uh, uh, the Injil, gospel and Torah are corrupted. And Allah tells, Allah, Allah tells, God tells us that He uh, sent, He revealed uh, the books, uh, the Bazans, the Bur, the Torah, Torah and Injil, gospel before in, uh, to those prophets. So, uh, for example, in Quran, Surah Imran, chapter number three, verse number three, which says. نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وانزل وانزل التوراة والانجيل. Let me translate it. He sent down to you this scripture, uh, Quran, truthfully, confirming all previous scriptures. And he sent down the Torah and the Gospel. Also, in, one, uh, in the next verse, in Quran Surah Iran chapter number 3 verse number 4 which says Min Kablu Udal Lin Nasi wa Anjar al Furkan in the Dina Kafalu Bia Il Dahi Lahum Azabun Chadi Baldahu Azizun Zuntikam. Let me translate it. Which says before that to guide the people and he sent down the uh, statue book. Those who disbelieve in God's revelations incur severe retribution. God is Almighty, Avenger. So, God has confirmed, Allah has confirmed that the, uh, He sent down the Injil, Torah, and the Bur before Quran to, uh, to Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa, and Prophet Dawood. So, and these all scriptures are corrupted by humans. So they are, they are now no longer the word of God, but Quran, but, but Allah promises that I will protect the Quran. And like I said, and this is happening, like Quran is preserved already. Now like Allah says that I will preserve the Quran. So for 1400 years, nothing, not, even a zabar has not been changed in Quran. So how can a human preserve Quran for like 1400 years? Like of course no one can preserve. It's a miracle of course. So this proves that the Quran is a word of God. This proves that Quran is truly the word of God. So I, I already proved that all Bibles uh, are corrupted and, and there is no... So I, so I already proved that there is no original Bible. There are many versions of Bibles. So uh, I uh, and I also have proved that the Quran is the word of God, the final, which which uh, which is the best of time. So I'll see you in my next episode of the reality of Jesus and Christianity. Thanks for watching.